Race walker Niall Sunderland has certainly made her presence felt in the sport of race walking since she began just four years ago, recently returning from the World Masters Track and Field Championships in Sacramento, California with three gold medals. And now Niall Sunderland has been nominated as one of 25 women around New Zealand as nominees for the Next Magazine's Woman of the Year. We invited Niall to take a brisk walk down to Mainland Studios. I want to go back, if we can, to Sacramento, the World Masters Track and Field Championships that happened in July of this year, and Niall Sunderland came home with three gold medals. An amazing, an amazing effort. But let's talk about the 20k because you ran into some problems at the end, right? Yes, I did. Um, during the 20k, I gave it my all. It was the, it was the race for me. It was the one I'd trained the hardest for, and. Um, with the heat, um, the exhaustion of racing two other races prior to it, uh, I gave every single ounce I had and when I got to the finish line um, the people stopped me to take my tag off my foot and I asked them please let me keep walking, I need to keep moving and I could feel my head um, sort of starting to go and right. my friend saw me go down and um, that was me, um, dropped like a ton of bricks. Blood pressure, heat exhaustion? Blood pressure, heat exhaustion, dehydration. Um, right. I lost two and a half kilos in that race. Right. So it was just dehydration. And I was drinking on the course, but it was very hot um, and humid and nothing like I'd raced before. Tell us about the challenges of being a race walker. You know, this, uh, this version of athletics looks really tough on the body to me, especially across the hips. Is that true? No. Um, surprisingly, um, everyone does think that, and it does look that. But if you get the motion proper, um, get it correct, it's actually very smooth and it's not jarring at all, it's not jarring on your knees. Um, running would be more jarring on your knees because yeah. you're impacting. Um, the motion of the hips, when you see a race walker going side to side, they're actually doing it incorrectly. Um, you're actually meant to be going this way, sort of like you're hula hooping, which isn't so bad. And um, when, you, when you get the motion right, you use your glutes rather than your hips and away you go and it's like a little wee piston and a little wee engine. Fantastic. What was the attraction to becoming a race walker? Um, getting dead to do a triathlon about seven years ago by my friend uh, Wee Joe, and while I was there um, I saw a race walker and I just looked over and, and saw the speed she was going and went oh, I want to do that um, and so I come home got on the internet and I was like oh, so that's what it's called it's race walking cool okay I can do this went out went around my house a number of times I thought no I can't do this um, <laughs> and I was really chunky I just could not get it um, and I went to Sharon McDonald and Nelson and she um, started me off and I was just walking very fast, I still wasn't race walking. Um, then a chap from Dunedin arrived and he took me under his wing and away we went. Um, and it just got better and better and better and I started getting faster and faster. The huge significant change to me was um, enlisting Jim Lippick from Australia. Okay. He revolutionised everything, he pretty much um, just told me to forget everything that I'd taught myself and what I'd learnt and to do it his way. And so now I, I race walk what they call the modern race walk way. Prior to that I was very militant, very upright and very um, definitely walking. Right. Whereas now I'm very fluid and very fast and um, often get mistaken that you know she's running. But um, only because of the fact that you are going so fast and you're so smooth you don't have that wobbling of the hips anymore. Um, and people just can't fathom that someone w moving at that pace could actually be walking. It's turned out you're pretty good at this, isn't it? You've got it a room, has. room full of medals. Can we hold those up? Because I don't think we've ever had gold medals in the mainland studio ever before, and they're absolutely fantastic. Three from one event, from, yes. from one meeting. So Especially at this level. That's because um, the Masters track and field is. To me, it's like our Olympics. It's the highest level that a master can compete at. So right. It's pretty cool. Okay. And, what, and, and what's the age group for masters in walking? Uh, it starts at 35 now. So 35 to 40, 40 to 45. It's every five year age bracket. And this is my last year in my age group. So it gets tougher for me now. Now, I understand something special is going to happen at the Masters Games coming up here in Nelson next month. What's going to go on there? Um, well, if everything goes right and it's looking like it's going to, they're going to put on a special 10,000 metre race walk for me um, on the track to enable me to break the New Zealand Masters record. Right, so that's going to be on the track. Yes. And so you are going, you make it make a bid to become the New Zealand record holder for track race walking. Yes. Boy, oh boy. Are you confident this is going to happen? Yes, and I know, I know I can get the time. Um, 
I'm doing doing the time needed in training. So put me on the track. I'm hoping that some of the other walkers will um, come and walk it too because it will be a little bit harder on my own. Um, walking around there by myself, it's 25 laps. Yeah. So, uh, but it's what you have to do and I'll definitely do it. It'll be great. Fantastic. Let's talk about the nomination for next magazine's Woman of the Year. Were you surprised? Very. Um, when I'd come back from the States, um, race walking is an unheard of, it's an unknown. So the first thing you do is you learn self-promotion. And um, I'm relatively confident and, and pretty good at standing on a soapbox, waving my arm around frantically, look at me, look at me. So that was pretty much what it took. So I wrote to all the magazines and said, um, this is what I've done, this is what I've achieved, I'm a little old nana from Nelson that's got up on her own, do you want to write a story on me? The editor from Next um, emailed me back the next day and said, uh, we're, very con we're very interested, but we have something better. We're running this competition to find our next woman of the year, um, and there's a sports section, would you like to enter it? And I emailed her back and I went, no, are you sure? You know, <laughs> I'm nothing flash. And she goes, you're a triple world champion. Go for it. So um, I got the what you had to do and I had two days to put this entry together. And so it involved getting um, letters of recommendation, um, references of that I was a good person, um, and also writing um, 200 words about different aspects of my life and what led me up to it. So it was thrown together very quickly and, and sent away. Um, and I forgot about it. I, I honestly didn't think I saw a chance. Um, I, I looked up last year's nominations and they were, they were impressive. So I thought, oh, well, you know, it was fun doing it. To my surprise, I went to the letterbox a couple of weeks ago and there was this great big white envelope in it and I pulled it out and there was a letter and I read it and I read it twice and I raced into my husband and said, you've got to read this, tell me I'm reading it correct. And he goes, wow, you're one of the 25. So, um, yeah, that was a little happy dance moment in the lounge. So. Absolutely. And let's hope it hasn't distracted you from training. No, no, no. I'm still out there <laughs> six days a week pounding the footpath. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to hear. So. Look, Niall Sunderland, we need to get you back here and, and talk more about what's happened in the career and give it some more time um, in the future here at Mainland TV. We want to say congratulations on being nominated as one of the 25 of the Next Magazine Woman of the Year. Best of luck coming Thank October you. at the Masters Games for that New Zealand record and thanks for taking the time to talk to us. No problem, thank you for having me.